Hi, uh, today I'm going to do a review on a portable speaker that I recently purchased, uh, specifically the Vix Sing. Um, I have had experience with a couple other ones, this Kinovo one here and the SoundBot one here. Uh, the first one I actually got was this um, Kinovo one. This was back in September 2013. At that time I paid uh, about 20 bucks for it. This one actually isn't wireless, it does have a little uh, cord there, but this one actually has some of like the best sound quality. Um, I actually enjoyed this one, the sound quality of this one, a little bit more than the SoundBot. So basically what was holding me back with that one was I wanted one that I could use in the shower. So I got this one next. Uh, this one is a SoundBot. Um, picked it up for $15 in July 2014. And this lasted, I would say like a good six months of working just awesome before the... Um, before the battery would just, I mean, I would get like maybe 45 minutes off of a full charge. Um, but I kind of found out a little later on in the game that you probably shouldn't be plugging in the USB thing into one of these like adapters and plug it, plugging it into the wall. Um, it's actually better to just plug it into a computer and um, it can mess with the battery, I guess. So basically this thing is not operational anymore. Um, it was a decent speaker for the price. But my most recent purchase is this Victsing. I got this in August 2015 and I paid about $15.99 for it. Uh, this one does come in a few other colors. It comes in like a gray color, a light blue, and an orange. Um, but I kind of just liked the green, um, green aspect to it. Uh, it was pretty simple. This one just came with the USB charging cable and a little like, um, you know, like one of those like camping hook things in case you want to use it outside or take it on, uh, you know, camping or whatever. Uh, I just don't really have much of a use for it, so I actually don't know where it is. I think I just threw it in a drawer somewhere. So let's talk a little bit about what these different buttons do, and I think the best way to kind of showcase this is going to be just to hook it up to my iPad. So let's give that a go. So first off, you got this power button here. Power on. You'll hear that sound. Bring my iPad over. That connected pretty quick. I can just select one of these artists. These two buttons on the side have kind of um, have two different functions. So this one will be your um, previous track or restart track. It will also be your volume down when you hold down that button. This will be your next track, or it will increase the volume if you hold down. And if you keep holding on to it, eventually it will beep. That means it's not. Here we've got pause, play, and it does have a phone function, but I've honestly never used it. I only use this in the shower, uh, and I haven't really wanted to answer a phone call in the shower or whatever. So uh, if I do ever use that, I will throw something in a description or something. Um, I did, after like a couple weeks, some of the paint is coming off of here on the front of the speaker. But other than that, this thing has been super durable. I have dropped it a couple times. Um, it's uh, the first time I tried to suction it to my wall. I, it was just being dumb and it fell. I thought it would. I, mean, I thought it was gone, but it actually ended up working out fine. Charging time on this has been awesome. It's been like I'd say I'd, l I'd let it sit for like 45 minutes, and it's pretty much fully charged each time I've tried. I mean, I don't watch it too closely. But I do get um, way better battery life than what I was getting on this SoundBot. Like I said, on this SoundBot, uh, at, mm, towards the end of its life, I was getting like 45 minutes maybe. With this speaker, they say you can get about 6 hours of playtime if you're playing at 70% volume. Um, I actually can't even 
listen to this thing on a 100% volume and like blast my eardrums when I'm in the shower. So I'm usually right around 70%, I'd say, and six hours seems pretty accurate to me. That, that's like one of my favorite things about this thing is I rarely have to charge it. So to kind of wrap this up, this speaker, Kinevo, great, but not Bluetooth, and I needed Bluetooth for the shower. Soundbot was okay when, I, when it worked. Now it's completely dead, so I needed a new speaker. Vixing for $15, I really couldn't ask for more. This does everything I need it to and more. If I were to need another shower speaker, I'd probably just pick up another one of these guys. So that's just kind of my quick review on the Vixing um, Bluetooth shower speaker. Great sound quality, uh, great design, buttons are really responsive, great battery life, if I already said that. Um, honestly, just no complaints. Check it out.